Okay, uh, so let's come to class four. Uh, but before going to class four, uh, let uh, recapitulate the thing. Whatever we learned in class one, class two, class three. Class one again, I am reminding you, we have learned about that uh, uh, basics of intellectual property rights. Okay. There, I, I have explained about the nature, by virtue of nature, what it is. Class 2, uh, we have ta taught about uh, that uh, law and uh, uh, different forms of law uh, in, in its applicabilities uh, in respect of uh, intellectual property rights. There, we have uh, learned about that uh, contract law, evidence laws and other uh, forms of laws also. Uh, class now three, we have uh, uh, learned about that what are the different kinds of theories uh, that have uh, come up uh, to ultimately may consider for uh, foundations or for justification of intellectual property right uh, systems. There we have learned about the philosophical aspects, economical aspects of different forms of uh, uh, information goods or public goods. So, now, uh, before going in depth about that uh, intellectual property uh, uh, and uh, different uh, say different uh, each elements within the form of intellectual property, uh, today uh, I will uh, give you uh, an idea of different forms of uh, intellectual property rights. Hmm, okay. There you will learn just like a, uh, people have a misnomes that people uh, thought about intellectual property rights means only patents, but not like that. So, that thing you will learn uh, from the today's uh, class. Okay. So, now let us say uh, I refer to you that property is coming, property is coming in the form of a tangible things. Okay, tangible things, property is coming in the form of a, uh, let us now intangible instead of that, I can consider that uh, information good or intangible thing, let us intangible, intangible things. So, whatever we are telling considering that is a intellectual property per se. Okay. So, now uh, let us how can I correlate this thing or how uh, one within the one thing, how another things may be uh, embedded without our knowledge. Let us we will try to or learn about that. Let us have taken a, I have taken example of a mobile here. Okay. Uh, let us say that within the mobile, what type of property it is? Somebody can tell me what type of property it is based on these two classifications. Mobile, I can feel, I can touch, I can evaluate. So, mobile is a physical object. So, I can consider mobile as a tangible property. Tangible property of whom? So, who is in possession of that mobile? I may consider that he is the, uh, he has the, is the owner of that. So, I told you that ownership may come up by virtue of two, by virtue of title, by virtue of positions. Okay. So, by virtue of position, he is the owner of that tangible thing. Let us say consider Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom, I referred in the first class, Mr. Tom is possessing that mobile. So, Mr. Tom is now the owner of that tangible object. Okay. So, Mr. Tom huh, or Mr. Tom does not know that okay, in that mobile also uh, different types of uh, intangible object or elements are embedded with. Okay. So, then he was thinking about, so this is, I am in the, uh, I am in the position of that mobile is a tangible thing. Let us say he is creative, imaginative, I already referred that. Now, he was thinking about, so he was trying to, uh, let us say, uh, uh, investigate the mobile to find out, let us say what are the uh, intangible uh, objects or elements 
embedded within that mobile. So, he first asked the question himself that how the mobile is functioning. Okay. So, functioning that is okay that clock is uh, ultimately uh, that particular uh, minutes hand and second hand is uh, rotating. Okay. So, mobile is also on mobile by virtue of mobile I am able to communicate with the different people. So, he was thinking about that okay, mobile is the tangible things, but how it is functioning definitely some uh, say uh, something associated for that functioning may be a intangible things. So, functionality how it function. So, that part may be some intangible elements associated for that functionality. He was thinking about the mobile it seemed to him is a polymer or ceramic or metal. What is the material of construction or material composition of material composition of construction of that mobile? Maybe it is also intangible thing, whatever I thought about C 6, H 10, O 10 kinds of formula, maybe some particular formula is also somebody have developed that formula uh, for that uh, polymer uh, that have been uh, somebody, uh, uh, somebody uh, uh, use that form chemical form chemical or formula uh, or that composition for construction of this uh, mobile. Okay, so, material composition or construction is ultimately coming up in the form of an intangible things. Now, mobile is also providing some sorts of sound or some a music is embedded as ringtone in the form of a mobile. Okay whether that ringtone I can touch or that ringtone I can feel. Okay. So, that thing is also a, a remain embedded within the form of that mobile. Now, maybe mobile is touch screen mobile. If I touch then it is functioning. I already told the functionality in the form of a touch screen. So, there are somebody is some intangible things, intangible elements associated with that functionality in the form of a touch screen. So, now that functionality can further facilitate by means of some software. So, what do you mean by thing software is a form of some instruction, instruction provided to the hardware for efficient functionality of that hardware. Okay. Maybe some software or source code for operation of that touch screen or that that particular functionality is also associated with that mobile. Okay. Maybe some sorts of uh, integrated circuit or associated with that mobile and so that circuit ultimately created based on some particular uh, layout. So, that is also may be associated with that particular mobile. Okay. So, that is also intangible may be. Okay. So, now some uh, um, some I, I have taken that mobile and that how can I identify that mobile and that uh, who from which source this mobile is coming up. So, there I found a logo that is telling setting about L G that indicating that the low mobile is uh, coming from the source called L G that is providing some information also that L G. So, there also I can consider L G is also supporting some information that is also we can consider an intangible things associated with that this mobile tangible things. Now, that mobile have I am attracted about that mobile because it has a beautiful shape and configuration, configuration does not means that technical configuration, configuration in the form of some aesthetic features that will help that mobile company to attract customers and consumer with reference to that mobile. Okay. So, now within that tangible object what intangible things we are getting functionality, we are getting say uh, aesthetic features, we are getting say uh, software, we are getting 
say uh, layout, IC layout. We are getting uh, say uh, some music. Okay, so all those things are coming in the form of uh, intangible things. Are so intangible things we are considering. Intangible thing is coming up by means of creation of mind. So we are stating them all intellectual or. Uh, intangible objects or element associated with that, we are stating that let us say in the form of IP, because otherwise that uh, the I already told you the theoretical justification part that okay. So, uh, uh, that uh, functionality or better functionality how we are getting, because of that we are providing some sorts of limited period exclusive diet over that over that creation for the reason we are getting better functionality. Now, you thought about the mobile uh, 10 years down the line, 10, 10 year past uh, 10 year past and today's mobile having the better functionality because of those theoretical justification or because of that intellectual property rights systems. We are getting every day the functionality of the mobile have been uh, are, uh, say improving over the year, over the time, over the time frames material composition of that construction may be better, because let us say your mobile suddenly fall from your house, from your hand, it is not uh, breaking, may be earlier days it was breaking. Maybe you are thinking about that, uh, it will not ultimately uh, uh, open up and your sim will lose, lo not lose the sim. So, if in, even if you fall from your uh, hand, it will ultimately uh, not open up the internal uh, 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 components, including the component which is uh, say holding the seams. Okay. So, uh, that way that uh, intellectual that intell intangible object or elements associated with that, we are uh, justifying that uh, for uh, maximum, uh, maximum utilization of those things, uh, we are justifying that uh, we required, uh, uh, we, we have to provide some sorts of exclusive right over those uh, intangible uh, object uh, to whom means to whom means to the person who has uh, created and ultimately uh, we got that mobile in the tangible uh, forms. So, there lies the ultimately uh, different forms of uh, intellectual property that are embedded uh, within that uh, tangible objects. So, now I will just classify uh, for a, a, a preliminary class, uh, what are the different forms of uh, IP uh, intellectual property uh, that are associated uh, or that we can thought about within that intangible objects or elements. Okay. So, now uh, that uh, let us say uh, we are stating that functionality uh, or how it will function, how the improved function we are getting that has come up have fall in the form of intellectual property and we call this uh, that intellectual property in the form of patent. Okay. So, one form of intellectual property uh, rights or intellectual, element, intellectual property rights that has come up in that intellectual say in that uh, uh, intangible object that is have uh, been that have been uh, uh, been improving the functionality of my mobile that has been ultimately uh, come from some uh, patent. So, patent is one of the forms of intellectual property that are associated with that mobile and that is we are considering the intellectual property or in uh, intellectual property uh, associated with that mobile. You may ask me that okay, that, uh, that whether intellectual property uh, till exist or not that are different questions, because I, I refer the limited period exclusive right. So, there may be chances is there that that uh, that patent periods of uh, particular 
uh, functionality may offer or may re still remains that is the questions of facts that are required to be investigated, but that uh, the different uh, forms of in, in, uh, intellectual property that have facilitated to uh, fa that have been facilitating us to get a beautiful mobile uh, that uh, we are discussing. So, the form of intellectual property rights that is uh, uh, protecting the functionality including the material of composition or construction we are referring that as a patent. We will discuss in details regarding that. So, you now first uh, remember that the functionality uh, or material of composition is protected uh, uh, in the form of one entry body that we are considering them as a patent. Now, so, uh, uh, so another things we told that okay, we people are purchasing a mobile, somebody is purchasing for functionality, somebody purchasing that mobile not for functionality, because for uh, safe configuration of the mobile is giving some sort of, sort of aesthetic look of that mobile. So, some person is ultimately uh, have involved in the value chains of that mobile to provide some sorts of uh, beautiful shape uh, by providing some beautiful shape and configuration of the mobile. Uh, mobile. So, they are, so ultimately he deserves I told you in the based on the theory, it deserves some sorts of uh, reward incentive in the form of limited period exclusive right. So, now uh, the uh, philosophers or integrity rights creators have given him some sorts of right in the form of an industrial design. So, he is uh, the person who has uh, created a beautiful shape and configuration of this mobile, the mobile, he has the right in the form of industrial design rights over that mobile. Okay. So, now we got one to two form of intellectual property associated with this tangible mobile. Now, come to the third part. Okay. So, we have procured that mobile, because we know that LG has good brand that have been providing mobile with consistence good quality. So, so because now how can I distinguish this mobile from the Apple mobile. So, there they we have to identify that okay, Apple mobile is coming from Apple source or LG mobile is coming from LG source. So, there lies that that LG role of LG logo there. So, that logo is ultimately coming in the form of an industrial property or intangible things, because we do not know the what is the value of that logo. It is difficult to measure this will be difficult to fill that logo. So, that is also coming up in the form of intellectual property rights. So, that is that logo. So, there is another form of intellectual property rights that we call that as a trademark. That is also another form of intellectual property rights that is associated with that mobile that is providing some information about the source of that mobile from which company or which source it has been coming that LG is indicating it is coming from a particular company called LG. Okay. So, so, we have already came up with the three forms of intellectual property rights that are associated with that mobile. Now, what are the others? Intel, intel, int, intangible object or elements associated with that mobile. I told you music embedded as a ringtones, software source code for operation. Okay. So, that is also coming, because let us say natures of each intellectual intangible objects or elements are different, something with reference to functionality, something with reference to the material, something with reference to the shape and configuration, something with reference to the logo. Okay. So, now that natures and forms with reference to music and software, there we have developed one form of intellectual body rights, we call that as copyrights. Okay. So, that is a, so you see that each intellectual intangible objects or elements are different. So, for the different things, we have created different forms of intellectual property rights system for betterment or of its use. So, use betterment for the maximization for the wealth creations. So, they are ultimately we are telling that is coming in the form of a copyrights. We will discuss this thing about 
the copyrights and others. I told you that there may be an integrated circuit based on that circuit uh, that circuit have been uh, if you do the reverse engineering about the about the uh, uh, integrated circuit or chips you came across a layout one individual or a creators ultimately design that layout and a fabricators ultimately fabricate that uh, ic using his layout so he is also a part of a value adder in the form of uh, of in the in that value chain of that mobile so he is we cannot neglect his uh, contribution in the form of creation of minds. So, for that reason we have created another form of IP uh, for the for that creation which uh, for that layout we tell that IC layout uh, design. Okay. So, IC layout design is also coming up another forms of uh, intellectual property rights. Subsequently, one is another thing is called trade secret. Trade secret also coming in the form of a, uh, uh, a secret information having the business value. So, that is a per se secret. So, we may consider trade secret associated with that uh, source code, trade secret may be associated with that particular uh, design. Okay. So, uh, that so trade secret means information having the business value that may be source code, may be the material formula, may be that uh, uh, particular. Uh, functionalities integrations is also trade secret that because of that uh, trade secret they, they are providing better function you everybody knows the coca cola formula and coca cola formula people have not able to uh, reveal till date coca cola formula is unknown so that is trade secret of coca cola pepsi tried to compete with reference to coca cola with respect to formulations of that particular coke but not able to do that. So, maybe they may keep something as a trade secret within the purview of uh, uh, within the purview of that that is also uh, uh, come with the purview of intellectual property rights or sometime we call it industrial property rights. So, okay. so, within this mobile how many forms of intellectual property rights we are getting? We are getting patent, we are getting industrial design, we are getting trademark, we are getting copyright, we are getting IC layout design, we are getting trade secrets. So, see that one within a tangible object we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 things form of intellectual property rights. So, maybe somebody have invent somebody or some uh, not somebody maybe an n number of person uh, involved uh, in respect of uh, functionality. So, inventors are are getting uh, getting the rights or they are inventing and that is coming in the form of a patents. So, a creator is creating beautiful shape and configuration that is coming in the form of industrial design. Somebody is designing that logo, company is using that logo that is coming in the form of a trademark. Music embedded in the ringtone or ringtone music is coming up in the form of a copyright. A layout of the layout of the integrated circuit is coming in the form of an I integrated circuit layout and overall some elements of the trade secret uh, some element of the source code and others may come up in the form of a trade secrets. So, so trade secret. So, we are getting six forms of IP within these forms. This is not the uh, uh, complete uh, list of uh, IP. Uh, there are others two forms of uh, IP. So, overall so eight forms of IP we will discussed in this course. Uh, so, so others two forms of IP. Uh, is coming up. Uh, one is called planned variety, another is called uh, geographical uh, indications. Just like say, uh, we have uh, created a particular variety of, of plants. Uh, so, now that uh, the breeders created that particular plant variety, he definitely deserves some rights over that particular variety, so that his fruits of labors uh, should be rewarded. So, he will get some sorts of incentive uh, for his uh, creations. So, there uh, that thing is coming up by virtue of uh, plant varieties, sometime we call uh, breeders rights. The breeders have some sorts of rights over that particular variety he has grown. So, 
that there lies another forms of uh, intellectual property rights. Now we call it that plant variety per se. So next is that uh, one a form of intellectual property rights is called uh, geographical indications. I have given uh, the two figures uh, that refer to textile goods that have been developed in a particular region. That particular community have uh, that skill to uh, create that handloom product. Uh, okay, I have given a food product. Uh, you may uh, guess what it is. It is agra peta. So that particular product having a some attribute because of that place, that attribute may come up because of its agroclimatic conditions, soil condition that is say subjectively verifiable or may be the skill or of that particular community, that community has acquired over that years. So, now to reward that particular uh, community uh, for uh, that particular uh, creations another form of intellectual property rights has come up in the form of uh, geographical indications. Everybody knows about the Darjeeling trees, Assam trees, uh, Nilgiri trees, Pachampali Koth. So, those are how that particular community or can get reward because of that, uh, 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 that particular uh, product oriented in that place. So, there lies the role of uh, geographical indication that geographical indication and that particular indication of that product or uh, that having uh, having product place link and that uh, have uh, for some reward mechanism of that particular uh, of that society or people of that place. So, this is another form of intellectual property rights coming up in the form of geographical indication. So, now, so what are the different forms of IP we have uh, enlisted? Within a tangible object, we about we will able to enlist six forms of IP that is patent, industrial design, trademark, copyright, IC layout design, trade secret. We have again created two other forms of uh, intellectual property rights or industrial property rights that is coming up in the form of a plan varieties or uh, ge and uh, geographical indications. So, overall, how many forms of intellectual property we have? Uh, we have and we have got an, a knowledge about the how many forms of property? Uh, 6 plus 2, 8. Within a single tangible object, we got uh, 6 form of intellectual property, right? intellectual property, patent, industrial design, trademark, copyright, IC layout design, trade secret and 2 independent intellectual property in the form of plant variety and geographical indications also is there. So, total 8 forms of intellectual property rights. So, we will discuss each forms in details in one, one, one class. So, all each forms of IP may be uh, one within a class or clubbing two, uh, clubbing two forms of IP within a class. We will try to finish all the forms of IP in subsequent classes. So, now I think at least you will able to identify what are the different forms of uh, IP within a uh, associated within a tangible object whatever we are using. And now, if you know that uh, what are the intangible object associated with a tangible object, we will able to ultimately do uh, some iteration within your mind to make that in uh, make that uh, product uh, more uh, say uh, uh, imp more attractive more functionally improved. So, uh, definitely you will able to create or invent, uh, then you will be inventor or creator or you will have the right in the form of patents, copyrights or industrial design. Okay. So, uh, we will finish it here now, uh, say week 1 we are finishing, I will upload the assignment of this module this module about the basics forms of intellectual property right, different law and its introduction, different theories of IP and different forms of IP. I will just give uh, some assignment with reference to this module. 
in the form of multiple choice questions and some descriptive analytical questions. So, I will upload that assignment, you have to finish this assignment uh, as per within the prescribed uh, limit. Okay, thank you.